Hey Math 31, I had a request for number 53 from section 2. Point, what are we in? 2.5. So um, we're being asked to graph this equation and figure out where the maximum profit would be. How many items do I need? What is that value of x that gets me a maximum profit? Now this is a quadratic. You can see it's quadratic because we have the x squared term. And then on top of that, you know it's an upside down parabola because the lead coefficient is negative. So it will have a max. So let's go ahead, go into your y equals, and let's type this equation in. We want to graph it. So negative 2x squared um, plus 280x. And then we have minus 1,000. Do I have enough zeros? Yeah. And so uh, we can hit zoom 6. We're probably not going to see too much because I can just see right here that the y-intercept is negative 1,000. And I'm only going down to negative 10. Right? So I'm really not seeing that much of this parabola. And they help us out. They say, hey, you know what? Adjust your window. So I'm going to go with an x max, excuse me, an x min of 0 and an x max of 200. And I'll go ahead and I'll make a tick mark every, I don't know, let's go 50 units. I don't need too many tick marks on there. Um, and then we need to go, it looks like 0 to 10,000. And I'm going to only make a tick mark every 1,000 units. So when it talks about y scales, it's just how many tick marks do you want along your axis. And I don't want that many. If I set the y scale to be 1,000 here, and I'm going from 0 to 10,000, I'll only have 10 tick marks along the y-axis. And if I'm going from 0 to 200 along the x-axis and making tick marks by 50, I'll only have 4 tick marks. All right, so whenever you adjust your window, don't hit zoom 6 again, because that'll just reset this negative 10, 10, negative 10, 10. Hit graph, and we should be able to see it. Okay. Now, if I take a look, there's my maximum. All right, if I had to guess where that is, keep in mind this first tick mark on the x-axis, that's 50. This is 100, right? 150, 200. So I think it's somewhere between 50 and 100. I think my x max is around 75. And if I had to figure out what that y max is, again, we went by 1,000. So this is 1,000, 2,000, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, maybe a little less than 9,000. That would be my guess. So let's go ahead and try and do this. Now, we've got here use second calc max. So let's hit second. And when you hit your calc menu, that's hitting this trace button here. You see calc is written in blue. So second and calc or second and trace. And I want option four. Now you can either scroll down to four and hit enter, or you can just hit four. And you have a couple of options. You can move the blinker, right? You see a little blinky. I can move this blinker to the left of my maximum. Here's on the left side. It doesn't have to be this exact point. I could move it anywhere left. I could have done it here here, but if this is my maximum right here, I need to pick some point on the left side of it. That's what they mean when they say left bound. And when you figure that out, hit enter. All right, and you see a little marker it's saying, all right, I'm going to find the max between this left end point and now move to the right. So let me go on the right side of my max. I'm just going to scooch it. Okay, that's good enough. That's on the right side. I'm going to hit enter. And now you see this other triangle pop up. So what your calculator is about to do is find the maximum point in between these two little triangles. Now you can guess if you want. What did we say, like 75 or something like that? I think I guessed 75. Or you can just hit Enter. All right, and what is my max? Oh, it was at 70. So it looks like my maximum is actually 70 and then 8,800 as I'm, as I'm rolling through this. So it looks like you have to sell 70 items to make your maximum profit. And that was um, how I calculate. I, I did this version where I was moving left to right. Let me show you a different one. Let me just hit graph. Again, remember we, I, I guessed that it was 75, right? I think the max is somewhere around 75. Well, what's an x value left of 75? 50. What's an x value right of 75? 100. And I'm lazy, so let me show you how I would have done this. I would have hit second trace four. And instead of moving my arrow keys and going left and right, I'm just going to tell my calculator, hey, go between 50, the x value of 50 for a left bound, and then 100 for a right bound, right? And then you see it here, like my two little triangles pop up, and you can plug in your guess, or I'm just, I'm lazy, I'm going to hit enter. And there it goes, 70, 8,800. And you might wonder, why did this one hit exact? 
and why did the other one have a decimal round off? It really just depends on where you put your left bound and right bound. Sometimes there's a slight decimal round off. All right, but that's how you calculate a maximum on your calculator. All right, thanks so much, gang. Bye.